sketch the graph of y is equal to 6 over x plus 2 plus 4. Now this graph is a graph of a hyperbola. So yeah, to I've written some steps of success where if you follow these steps, you can draw this graph very easily. So let's first look at the first point. The first point tells me, decide the vertical asymptote by setting the denominator equal to zero. I'll first go over the steps and then I'll explain the logic behind it. So for the first step, you have to set the denominator equal to zero. So I'm going to say, well, what if x plus two is equal to zero? This implies x is equal to negative two. Now, what does this mean? This means when x is negative two, I hope you understand the denominator becomes zero. And in maths, you should be knowing you're not allowed to divide by zero. If you divide by zero, you get uh, an answer which is undefined. Okay, so let me show you that. Suppose uh, if you go to the run menu or just a, you take a simple calculator, say six divided by zero. Oops, to move this. Six divided by zero, you can see here, is maths error, okay? Or any number for in that, for that case, suppose eight divided by zero is maths error. Ma error means maths error. So you're not allowed to divide by zero. So here, when you're setting this denominator equal to zero, we are finding that value of x, which the function is not allowed to take. So your vertical asymptote, so let me draw the vertical asymptote. So your vertical asymptote is x is equal to negative two. So I'll draw a dotted line. So this is your vertical asymptote, okay? So let me draw so this is your vertical asymptote. That means your function, or you're not, in other words, in simple language, you're not allowed to take any value of x. Okay, so this, we'll write, this is called the vertical asymptote. And we'll say this line is called x is equal to negative 2. Okay. So that's the first step. Okay. In other words, I'll repeat this again. So x, you cannot take any, or you cannot take the value of x in this function, okay. Now, let us, now the next step is to decide the horizontal asymptote. Now, horizontal asymptote is a value or is a line which the graph again approaches. Okay, I'll explain that. So this number tells me the horizontal asymptote. I'll explain that later. So y is equal to four is your, uh, so you can say, your second step is y is equal to, I have to graph y is equal to 4. I explained that, so let me gra graph the hor horizontal asymptote. So this is your horizontal asymptote. So these are the first two steps. So this is, this line is called y is equal to 4. Now, to graph this function, now to explain how, why this line is, drawn. So let us take, say, some huge values of x, positive values of x. So what, what do I mean by that? Suppose oh, we know the function, so let me write the function so that you can see the function. The function is y is equal to 6 over x plus 2 plus 4. This is your function. So I'm writing it here so that I can see when I'm working on my calculator. So I'm going to type in six divided by, say let us, let me, you can look here, six divided by say 100 plus two uh, plus four. Okay, so what's the answer? It's 4.05. So what happens if suppose I change 100 to a thousand? It is 4.005. What if I change that to 10,000? So can you see that as this number, your x is becoming great, it's approaching positive infinity, this will be 4 plus something. So let me show you one more. Suppose let us put two zeros together and see what happens. Or let us three, three, five, three zeros. It's 4.00. So it's approaching 4. So let us write that. So what does this mean? 
when x is approaching positive infinity y your y value would be approaching 4 from above so let me write like this that means it will be 4 plus something okay 4 from above okay so this is my notation so what happens when you're approaching negative infinity suppose what happens let us say when x is approaching negative infinity so let us get get our calculator back so we have got let us cancel this so again we'll go 6 divided by say let us start with minus 100 minus 100 plus 2 plus 4 it's 3.93 okay so let us change this to minus 1000 what happens this is a minus 1000 what will happen 3.99 what if we'll make it 10,000 or 100,000 100,000 it is 3.999 okay so let us increase this by 1 million am I right yeah 1 million is 3 point so it's approaching 4 from below it will be some slightly less than 4 in this case in this case it will be slightly over 4 and in this case you can see y is approaching y is approaching 4 from below in other words in simple language this means this will be slightly less than 4 when x is approaching negative infinity is slightly less than 4 so let us draw that branch of the graph okay so this means if you want to graph this a sketch of it when x is approaching infinity this will be slightly over 4 so it will be suppose i'll start the graph like this so this is one part and when it is negative infinity it will be less than 4 so this is your line y is equal to 4 so this is your branch of your so this is the other branch it will be slightly less than 4 and this is over 4 okay now the next thing that we need to decide is find the x intercept you have to find the x intercept by setting y is equal to 0 so let's write the equation we know the equation is let me change color y is equal to so this is our third point we are finding the x intercept x y is equal to 6 over x plus 2 plus 4 so we want to find the x intercept so i'm going to set y is equal to 0 so 0 is equal to 6 over x plus 2 plus 4 so i'm going to take away take away 4 from both sides so i can say negative 4 is equal to 6 over x plus 2 okay so now this implies i'm going to cross multiply okay so this is minus 4 so cross multiplying can i say minus 4 times x plus 2 is equal to 6 so now let's expand this and this is minus 4x minus 8 is equal to 6 so adding 8 to both sides minus 4x is equal to uh, 14 so now dividing both sides by negative 4 so minus 4x divided by negative 4 is equal to 14 divided by negative 4 okay which is negative 4 sorry which is 7 over negative 2 which is minus 3.5 so we can do this on a calculator but i would like you to do without the calculator so as top math students you should be able to do these simple calculations without the calculator okay so if you want to do it on a calculator if you are suppose lazy like me i will go what is okay so you have to do this equation okay so i think that's enough okay so that's the so your x intercept is negative 3.5 so let me plot that negative 3.5 so this is negative 2 this is negative 3 this is negative 3.5 so this is this point so your graph will pass through that point okay so that's your x intercept okay
so will it have a y-intercept? So let us see. Okay, the fourth point is to find the y-intercept. Okay, so graph is going to go like this. Okay, so yeah, will it will have a y-intercept. So the fourth point is to find the y-intercept. Okay, you have to find the y-intercept. This is the fourth point. To find the y-intercept by setting x is equal to zero. So let me write the equation y is equal to 6 over x plus 2 plus 4. So you want to find the y-intercept by setting x is equal to 0. So y is equal to 6 over 0 plus 2 plus 4, which is equal to, this is 6 over 2 plus 4 which is 3 plus 4, which is 7. So y-intercept is 7. So let us plot that point. So where is 7? 7 is, this is 6 and this is 7. Okay, so your graph would go, it's approaching. This will be approaching as the graph, your branch, one branch would be like this. Okay, so let us take some neat points. Okay, suppose what happens if we put say one year so let us say if x is one so let us let me make two columns x and y so let us take x is one because i know this will become three so that when x is one this will become six over three which is two plus four six when x is one y is six so this is this point i think this point is enough so you got this point and this point okay and this the graph would look like this. Okay, I've got, let me delete this. Okay, so let me use a different color. So blue, so your graph, the branch of it, this branch of the graph would look somewhat like this. Okay, this is never, this is an asymptote, so this is never going to touch this. Okay, so if you want to extend this, if you, if you extend this, this will be, this line is going to approach this line okay so these are the two this is one branch so let me take on the negative this is the ne uh, the other branch i need one more point so which is the point that i can take so let me take say negative i can't uh, if you take negative one yeah you can take negative one but i want to get say on this side so let me take negative four when x is negative four this will be 6 divided by, so let me show that, 6 divided by negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 plus 4, which is negative 3 plus 4, which is 1. So when x is negative 4, y is 1. Okay. So when x is negative 4, y is 1. So this is this branch. Okay. So this is this point. Okay, and let me take one more point, which is the point. Okay, so if you take, say, uh, let me take negative 5. Okay, will it work? Suppose let me take negative 5. So when it is negative 5, negative 5, so let me show the working here. 6 divided by negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3 plus 4. So this is negative 2 plus 4, which is 2. So when x is negative 5, when x is negative 5, y is 2. So these are the three points. So your the other branch, so let me erase this. Your bra other branch would look somewhat like this. So this is approaching. So your graph would look somewhat like this. So we'll confirm this on the calculator. Okay, so these are the three points that is enough to draw the graph. So let us get our calculators out and you go to graph and then you type in the equation 6 divided by bracket x plus 2 plus 4. Okay, and I want to set a scale of 10 to standard scale and then draw it. So this is your graph, can you see? Now this line is called y, y is equal to negative, sorry, x is equal to negative two and this line is called uh, y is equal to four. So I'll type in exit and y2, I'll put y is equal to four. 
just to show you can you see this line so this graph is approaching this line that is y is equal to 4 and this line is called x is equal to negative 2 so I will say I'll go to type and x and I'll to type in negative 2 just to show you the two asymptotes so this is this line is called y is equal to 4 so can you see this is 1 2 3 4 and this line is x is equal to negative 2 so to po show the point so let me I have to delete this uh, yes and uh, also delete this okay so now graph it and now I want to check these points when x is 1 y is 6 so g sol and y calc when x is 1 when x is 1 y is 6 okay again g sol you calculate x calc so when y y is 1 what is x so you can go both ways when y is 1 x is negative 4 so again g sol and let me calc calculate y calc when x is negative 5 okay and so to show you when x is say so again suppose if you draw it let me draw it g sol and y calc when x is negative 2 when x is negative 2 it says y is equal to an error okay so the calculator doesn't cannot calculate when x is negative 2 because it's an asymptote